First, I would like to reiterate to all of you that there is no more ongoing threat to our community here in Las Vegas. I also like to tell you that we do know the identity of the suspect in this case, but I will not be releasing his name tonight until after the next of kin notification. And at approximately 11.45 a.m., LVMPD dispatch received reports of an active shooter at the UNLV campus. UNL campus, UNLV campus police responded to the scene and engaged the suspect immediately right outside of Beam Hall. LVMPD officers also responded simultaneously. I can tell you today, three of the victims are confirmed deceased. There is a fourth victim who suffered a gunshot wound and is now currently in Sunrise Hospital, upgraded to stable condition. In addition to that, there were four additional people who were transported from the scene to nearby hospitals suffering from panic attacks. Our hearts go out to the entire UNLV community. No student should have to fear pursue, pursuing their dreams on the college campus. Importantly, there was a gathering just outside of the building where the students were playing games and eating food. There were tables set up for them to build Legos. And if it hadn't been for the her heroic actions of one of those police officers who responded, there could have been countless additional lives taken. As the sheriff said, uh, our officers uh, collectively, uh, UPD as well as Metro, responded to call for shots fired approximately 11.45. Uh, two uh, of our detectives responded to the scene it immediately engaged uh, the suspect in a shootout. Uh, the suspect was struck and uh, is deceased at this time. The campus uh, was almost immediately closed and out of an abundance of caution, all Nevada system of higher education institutions in Southern Nevada were as well closed. UNLV will remain closed for the remainder of today, tomorrow and Friday and uh, additional uh, determinations will be made as to whether or not the school, the university will reopen uh, next week, which will be finals week.